This is a short review of the video lecture topic on urinary tract, calculi and calcification, part one of the kidney, which is available on the ultrasound educational website, www.sonoshare.in. Short clippings of the various parts of the lecture video will follow. If you want to listen to the uh, lecture video, please log in to sonoshare.in. may vary because it's large here as seen here. And medullary nephrocalcinosis may be, it is an autosomal uh, dominant and recessive types are there. The heterogeneous echo pattern of hepatic fibrosis. So, some other cases, exam, there may be dilated collecting system due to obstruction. The acoustic shadow uh, depends on the size of the calculus and the type of calculus. Some calculus like phosphate may not attenuate ultrasound, or it can be uh, uh, perineal pelvic calculus obstructing all the calices. So, results in dilatation of all the calices and with the withdrawal of the furosemide they disappear. The renal calculi may be due to stasis as seen here there is um, a congenital PUG obstruction with uh, hydronephrosis and there is calculus formation in the cali but whereas the calculus you get the acoustic shadow. So that is one of the uh, difference but sometimes it may not cause uh, change the position, the gas moves to the non-dependent part that is the pelvis. So because we do the scan from here, it will look, uh, the image will look up here and the gas will be in the renal pelvis like that. So that is the kidney, from the calyces it has moved to the pelvis confirming that it is gas and it is not calculus. Now calculus is mimicked by calcified renal rules out calculus <coughs> and you can put color doppler and within the calcification papilla on the surface the calcification form so it appears ring like and um, the history of so Randall's plug versus calculus you can see multiple um, uh, bright spots in the kidney <coughs> so here it is axial scan in left lateral decubitus so the uh, milk of calcium shifts its level uh, uh, according to the position of the patient confirming that it is cyst with milk of calcium so this is the calcification and that is the CT scan done after the IVP reported as calcified mass. But the cyst that is the calcification in axial scan supine whereas in axial scan in prone also a mass of calcification and typically there is a superficial parenchymal scar. So this appearance is um, a sequelae of uh, alkalous C. But when you do a, a transverse scan you see the kidney looks normal but you see a calculus medial to the kidney and the then shadowing. So something finding in this part of the renal parenchyma will be masked by the shadow. So that is what has happened. There is a large calculus. Thank you for your patient listening. Having gone through the preview, if you wish to listen to the main lecture video, go to sonoshare.in.